All right, welcome to the show, Cooking with Vincent in Sal's Kitchen. We're here in beautiful Anchorage, Alaska, and we hope that uh, you guys out there are hunkering down and uh, enjoying being at home. And uh, today, when you're cooking with Vincent, you're not only cooking with Vincent, but you're partying with Vincent. So grab those tear bouchons, crack open a bottle of wine, and join us. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back. So since the break, we have our rice has been going in the oven, and now we're gonna have asparagus, and I'm gonna show you an ancient Chinese secret here, is to take the asparagus before you broil them, or put them on the grill, and let them soak in the water, and blanche, blanche, for you French folks out there, and uh, it's that simple. And that's how you make it so it's nice. When you cut into it at the table, it'll be beautiful. Thank you. Vincent, how, how do you blanch it? So, and why do you blanch it? And we blanch it, you don't want to, we just want to, the reason for it is you don't want to cook it in the water. You just want to get it started in the water, okay? And the reason for that is so when you, when you cut into it at the table, um, it's easy to cut into, and it's nice and tender. Otherwise, you, you find it tough. You know, that's why a lot of people, they don't enjoy asparagus, because it's tough. The skin around the edge is tough when you cut into it. And, um, now, when we go to broil it, we'll get that char on there, okay? But it won't have that toughness. And a lot of people, I think, are turned off by asparagus for that reason. So we're gonna spread these out so I can get more char on, on it. And um, we're gonna just easy now, throw a little bit of olive oil on there like that. And we're gonna crack some black pepper on them. Mm -hmm. And a little bit of salt. Now this is the Himalayan real salt. So we only need a little bit of that. And I'm going to put a little bit of garlic powder, just for fun, on there. And I'm also going to put magic ingredient, white pepper. Now just a little bit because it's very strong. And um, we'll pop that in the oven and we'll broil it. And what we'll do is midway through, we're going to rotate it around so it has a nice char on all sides. Okay? So we'll see you back after these messages, and thank you for cooking with Vincent. We hope you're having as much fun as we are at home. Grab your wine and make a toast. Tonight, we pray for everybody, make a toast out there, that this coronavirus thing will let up soon, and that everybody will be strong. And um, when we come out of this, stronger as a, as a world. Cheers. Come close. And welcome back. Now, what we're doing here is this is just a premix that we bought from the store, and I've added a little balsamic to it and a little bit of the, uh, asparagus. I chopped the asparagus ends and a little bit down into the stock. Now, asparagus is very healthy and it's full of calcium, so we're going to add that to the mix. And I also I added a little bit of shallots, raw shallots, of course, and uh, we're just mixing it around in our bowl. Just like that. Woohoo! How about like that? All right, and that'll be our salad for this evening. And we'll see you back. All right, welcome back. You're cooking with Vincent. 
in Sal's Kitchen in fabulous Anchorage, Alaska. And we are past the equinox now and approaching summer, and it's very summer out in Alaska right now. And here's our rice that we had. There's our beautiful rice. Now, I'm taking it out of the oven, and I'm just gonna let it sit in the machine there because the heat of the oven will just keep that nice. However, I'm gonna put a cover over it just so it doesn't dry, dry off the top. But we're set with our rice. And if you want to come, come in a little closer, you guys. Yeah, there's our asparagus right there. So if you want to zoom in here, there's our hotel pan with our asparagus. And I'm just going to broil it in the oven. And there you go. So come on in. Now my son, Sal, he asked me about this Bam Marie. And you know, when I was cooking at the Hilton many moons ago, I worked under this the sous chef and they had the saucier who was a hot shot from Le Cordon Bleu. And I always thought he was saying Bambari, but come to find out, it's really called a Bambari. And the way he would throw the words together, I never understood what the hell he was saying. So anyway, come on in a little closer, check it out. So basically what it is is a double boiler, like that, with these cylindrical setup. Okay, and we got a little ladle in there. And we're gonna clarify some butter. Now how do you clarify butter? Well, how do you classify an oyster? They sure are good. Now, what you do is, once the butter gets hot, it'll let it, it'll let it sit there and get hot on the stove or maybe in a steam table. And you, what you want to do is, is you want to skim the top of the skin off of the top. And then as it goes, it'll separate and the milky stuff will go to the bottom. Now, you don't want the milky stuff. You want the clear stuff. Okay, and that's gonna make the halibut cheeks, really, as we say in Alaska, taste like lobster. Okay, now, there's our rice. Come on in, guys, and check it out. There's our rice, okay, and it's very good. It's ready to go. Now, many of you asked me, I want you to give me more measurements and more times. Um, because, you know, I cook from my head and I just grab and I don't even measure, you know, I'm throwing stuff around, so. As you can see with this rice, we use the middle finger technique and we put it there towards our water rice ratio. If you want to add chicken stock and some butter in there for flavor or whatever you want to add into the rice to flavor the rice is your choice. Some people just use straight up water. Um, I like to use water because then your rice can sit out and it doesn't have to be refrigerated and it doesn't go bad. Um, let's check on our asparagus. So there's our asparagus going. Right there, look at that, it's broiling in our broiler. And um, it's not quite ready to be tossed around yet. Now, I like my vegetables very cooked. Not overdone, but you know, people from the South and my father, he loved, he loved to just cook, cook the vegetables to where they were overdone. And uh, the California people out there, you know, I, I know you like your al dente, and so uh, <laughs> it's all good. But I, I like mine cooked, and I like a little bit of char on there. So we're gonna let that sit in the broiler and we'll be right back. All right. Welcome back. Come in a little closer, guys. All right, here I got some, I'm mincing up some garlic and uh, a shallot. Here I got some parsley dried out, okay? Got a little Parmesan cheese. 
Got our scallops just sitting there with some pepper on them. So I'm taking the garlic and the shallot and I'm going to finely mince it. And then I'm going to come over here with this chicken breast. Now we're making scall or scallops. Did I say scallops? I meant to say halibut cheeks. They look a lot like scallops right there. Anyway, um, as an appetizer, we had the salad. And um, I'm just going to kind of just cut this for my guest here tonight. And um, hell, I'm just going to chop it up for him so he doesn't even have to chop it. And um, I'm going to pull out a little... Oh, wait a minute. Oh, single, single, double. All right, now, what we're going to do is we're just going to take this chicken and a little appetizer Ooh. right there. And for my homie, my guest tonight, I'm going to put a little of our special sauce from Metairie, Louisiana. Comes in a bottle, looks like that. Okay. That is the bomb. In fact, you know, my mom used to put that, in, I had that in a baby bottle when I was growing up. Back up a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right, there you go, appetizer, little Cajun chicken. You're cooking with Vincent in Sal's Kitchen in fabulous Anchorage, Alaska. Here in summer Alaska, we have, we're gaining daylight now, and we're past the equinox, and it's just beautiful here. So, but it's beautiful in Sal's Kitchen, always beautiful in Sal's Kitchen. Now, someone asked me and said, Vincent, how do you do that with the steel? And I'm going to show you, it's very easy to do, sharpen, or, you know, to keep your blade nice with the steel. Now, there's our steel. And it has two little no nodule things sticking out of there. And what you do is you put your thumb underneath that so you don't chop your thumb off in case you miss. Uh, you really don't want to miss. And then you aim it like this. See, this is how I'm holding my knife. I got my, my finger around that thing there, you see. And my thumb like this. I like to hold it like this, but I can also back up a little bit, you know. And, but I like to have my finger around that no not little nodule thing right there. Okay? <clears throat> now... We got like a pyramid, the tips like that, like a triangle, okay? And then loosey-goosey, baby, loosey-goosey, okay? Now, we got it like that, and what you do is you just put a slight angle to it, to the side view, like that, okay? Now, what you do is just let your wrist drop, like that, okay? So there's your knife at the end of the steel, like that, and then what you do is Elbow a little like that, and then just loosey-goosey with the wrist, just let it drop, like that, okay? And then you angle it, now you have a side view again, slightly like that, not 45, like, a, I don't know, 22 degrees, so like that, and then just let it drop like that, okay? So what you do is, like that, and then you just let it drop, 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 loosey-goosey, like that, okay? The, the looser you are, the more relaxed, the faster you can go, so you can just be like that. And there you have it. All right, there's our asparagus with a nice char on it, like that. I'm just gonna rotate it around like that. Now I'm gonna put just a little bit more black pepper, just for fun, like that. And then what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna roll that up, and fold it up into the, into the tinfoil pouch. With that, I'm just going to make a pouch out of my tin foil. I'm going to let that sit there above the rice, just like that. And then we're going to come over here, and we are going to take our halibut cheeks, and we're going to dredge them ever so slightly, like that, into... Come in close, you guys. Oh, with some picture. <laughs> 
come in close. There you go, you guys. And we're just gonna we're gonna dredge these through the flour like that, okay? Our beautiful Alaskan halibut cheeks. Now the cheeks have a property. I, I don't know how to explain, but they have a, a property to them that is just really amazing. The the way they are. Okay, now I'm not overdoing it with the breadcrumbs. Got some parsley. That. And then we're going to take our olive oil over here. We're going to heat the oil like that. Cast iron on our fancy gas burner. And while that's heating up, we're going to do another toast to you guys out there. Now, right now we have this coronavirus pandemic going on and um, we know we're going to be watching this video so after the pandemic is over and we're going to look back on this and we're going to be like what the you know like what the hell is going on all right um so here's a toast to the future and also I have a beautiful toast for all of you out there. As you slide down the banister of life, may the splinters be facing the right direction. Cheers. All right, here we are. We've got our fancy gas burner and our olive oil right here, okay? And we're gonna do a little bit of our clarified butter right here. And then we're gonna come over here, and this is sore and hot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our horse, to the old town road. We're gonna grab that like that. Woo! Shit. Ah, <laughs> uh, dang. That was a good one. <laughs> all right, so look. Holy shit. All right. That's all right. Let's see what we got. Carl, don't talk. Okay, here we go. You ready? Welcome back. We got our fancy gas burner and a dog in the kitchen. And we got our shallot and our garlic going, and a little bit of black pepper, and maybe a little bit of the garlic powder, just like that, okay? And our clarified butter, which I spilt some off to the side, but we'll add more. Quite a bit ended up on the floor. like that, okay? And then from there, we're going to take these halibut sheets and we're going to flash fry them. Make sure that's good and hot. Now we don't want to overcook them. We're just going to flash them on one side, flash them on the other side. Okay, welcome back. You're cooking with Vincent, and on the break, we um, we had to clean up our little mess. It got a little slippery here in the kitchen. Getting close here. Now let's check out how our rice came out. Oh, not bad. Yeah, there we go. So, there you go. That's that's how you make the rice easy, and and it's it's gonna be flavorful. And there's our rice, like that. Okay, and. Here's our rice like that. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna come over here and just rinse my hand off. 
because I just licked my, my finger and that wouldn't be good, would it? But we're at home, so. And you're in Sal's kitchen. That's it. Now we have, I'm just gonna do this with my hands. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna, I'm gonna put them like this. Like that. Maybe on that kind of an angle. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna take half of these. And there's our char. And it's just peppered with, with the black pepper. Okay, remember what we used. We used pepper, olive oil, and not a lot of oil. And um, just let it steam in the pouch afterwards. Remember, we blanched it in the beginning. So it'll be tender to cut. Now, if you don't like it this much cut or this much cooked, then by all means, just less time. But I'd say those asparagus went into the broiler maybe 10 minutes. Okay, we're gonna get discard this. And then we are gonna take our fabulous halibut cheeks, there they are, and come over here, getting close guys, and we're gonna go like that, just like that. Flip that back. Like that. And I'm gonna scrape some of this off of here. Just with a little, little, what you call a lang yap. Get up high there. There you go. That's what you call a lang yap. Lang yap. Put a little bit on the side. This is also a lang yap. We we'll take a, just like whatever, piece of chicken. Throw it right there in between. That'll be in between your dish and your rice and stuff like that. We'll call that lang yap. And then we'll take a little bit of that, that garlic and we're just gonna crust the garlic on the top of each one, just like that, okay? All right, so there you have it, guys. Italian Alaskan fusion, halibut cheeks done in style, Italian style with breadcrumbs, asparagus, and our flavored rice, just like that. If you want this recipe and more, 